Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, hope you're having a great day and a great week. And as always, thanks to everybody that's subscribed, old and new. It's great to have you all on board. So now I'm going to be reacting to Debbie Harry with Blondie. And this is a track called Sunday Girl. Um, and this was from 1979. This is the top of a pop's performance. Uh, the track itself is taken from the album Parallel Lines, which was released in September of that year. Uh, Enter the UK Top 40 on the 19th of May and it peaked at the top spot which was number one so a uh, very very popular song from a very popular album um, I have seen I have heard this before I've not heard it for a little while without further ado this is Blondie with Sunday Girl what a successful year it's been for Blondie. Six major UK hits. Well. And here's the first of two appearances on today's Christmas special, Top of the Pops, as they perform Sunday Girl. I'm just going to say, uh, I love her style and uh, I love those glasses as well. Um, I, I've, I've been after a pair of glasses like that for so long. Um, also, she's got a really expressive jaw. She kind of, I, don't, I mean, that's probably stating the obvious because people talk for the mouth. So, um, you know, I, I'm guessing we've all got um, expressions when we talk, but she's got uh, really expressive jaw movements there. And uh, I've never really noticed that before. I've never seen this performance before either, so it's it's quite nice and refreshing for me to see it. I think they said it was from the Christmas Top of the Pops, it doesn't look very festive, but so maybe I've misheard that. Let me just tell you. Sunday girl and I hope that you're enjoying it. <clears throat> I did enjoy it, thank you. Um, so that was Blondie with Sunday Girl and I really, really enjoyed that performance. Um, and I was trying to think what it was about that performance I really liked and I guess what it is is that because when I was brought up uh, I, uh, I listened to, uh, I didn't personally listen to a lot of Blondie but Blondie was always around in the background and I always thought of Blondie is like a pop group, but when you see them um, performing on stage, they've got, I feel they've got an edge about them, and they feel, um, I mean, this was a time of new wave, 
but they feel that there's like a punk element in, in a way, in her mannerisms, in the way she performs, in a way that she understates her performance as well. And uh, that's really, really refreshing. I've never seen this uh, Top of the Pops video before, and um, I'm really glad I watched it because I think I've only ever heard this song sang, or I, um, I don't think I've even seen a video to it. But yeah, I liked I liked the performance. Really, really absorbed with that and the the lyrics. Now I know a little bit about these lyrics. Um, I heard a story a while back, and just before I reacted to this just now, I um, I had a kind of quick read up on 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 the story behind this, uh, just to confirm that I wasn't going off on a, a crazy tangent somewhere down the line. So um, so I'm gonna have a look at the lyrics right now. I know a girl from a lonely street. Cold as ice cream, but but still as sweet. Dry your eyes, Sunday girl. Hey, I saw your guy with a different girl. Looks like he's in another world. Run and hide, Sunday girl. So it sounds for all intents and purposes that the guy has left this girl and he's gone and he's been seen around the town with uh, another woman. Um, however, um, the real story of this is, I believe, um, Debbie Harry had a cat called... Um, I think it was either called Sunday Boy or Sunday Man. Uh, Sunday Boy sounds a bit more feasible. But he had a, she had a cat called Sunday Boy, and uh, and and so this song is actually about a cat going missing. So I know a girl from Lonely Street who, and that would be Debbie Harry. Cold as ice cream, but still as sweet. Uh, I think that's again Debbie Harry. Dry your eyes, Sunday Girl. So she's kind of bestowing the title of Sunday Girl on herself um, and but really the, the, the cat is Sunday boy um, hey I saw your guy I saw your cat with a different girl uh, looks like he's in another world run and hide Sunday girl so uh, clearly this is upsetting uh, to know that a cat's missing but a cat's uh, been seen around with somebody else hurry up hurry up and wait I stay away all week and still I wait I got the blues, please come and see what your loving means to me. So she's kind of really hoping that a cat comes back, or it could be that she's hoping that a fella comes back. Um, she can't catch up with a working crowd. The weekend mood and she's feeling proud. Lives in dreams, Sunday girl. Baby, I would like to go out tonight. If I go with you, my folks get up tight. Stay at home, Sunday girl. So I think this is like uh, sort of segue into into something a little bit different now. Hey, I saw your guy with a different girl, looks like he's in another world. Um, when I saw you again in the summertime, if your love was as sweet as mine, I could be Sunday's girl. Sunday's girl, ah. So that's a kind of reference back to the cat. Uh, I love the actual bit where he says, baby, I would love to go out tonight. Um, I, I don't know what it is with Blondie's, with Debbie Harry's voice because it's, she kind of sings at a, a certain um, level. It's it's almost like she's skimming across the surface in a perfect light, and then all of a sudden she goes into this growl. Um, and and she, it was really distinctive at the time to listen to her singing like this. Um, this amazing, it's just such an amazing versatility in her voice, uh, a power that you don't uh, naturally assume that she'd have in it. And it really gives the uh, uh, the music distinction and, uh, and and contrast within her own vocal range. Um, and there's some singers that can do that. They can sound really beautiful, and then and then they just you know let rip and roar out the next verse. Um, so yeah, essentially this is about a cat girl. I wonder if she ever got a cat back. Um, that would be my my thoughts on this and uh, um, you know I don't know I can't think of anything worse than to have lose your cat uh, have it run off or uh, befriend somebody else and then um, I don't know how I'd feel because I've got a cat so I don't know how I'd feel if that happened but guys if you enjoyed this it brings back any memories uh, 1979 um, when were we in May no, in May 79 so how many years ago is that now? That's uh, 42 years ago. Um, if you can remember back that far and you've got something you want to share, um, share it in the comments below. 
and as always I'll join you in there and uh, and uh, I'll have a good read of all these comments and hopefully reply to a few um, so yeah till, till next time take care of yourself and um, uh, goodbye goodbye uh, Kid Jensen goodbye Peter Powell uh, goodbye Top of the Pops and I'll speak to you all soon